Welcome to Part of My Imagination. I'm Imagination and you're the Imaginers. Welcome if this is your first time. My name is Jasmine and welcome back if this is your second or third or how many times you've clicked on my channel. Welcome. Oop, sorry, I'm hitting my mic. Um, today I'm going to be doing my October TBR. I know I'm kind of late. It is October 4th. It is what it is. Um, if you watch my wrap up, even though I feel like this video is probably going to come out before my wrap up, so disregard that comment, whatever. I'll edit that out. Probably won't. Um, but yes, um, I had a horrible reading month in September. Well, let me be fair. I had a booktube horrible month because I only read four books. So I'm trying to play catch up and I'm already behind on my reading goals this year. I'm trying to read 100 books this year. So I'm already behind. So now I'm even more behind. But yeah, so I'm trying to stack my uh, October uh, TBR this month. So let's just get into it. All right, the first one I have is Assassination Classroom Volume 3. This was also on my September TBR. I didn't end up finishing it. I only got about 88% through, so I, this should be quick and easy. Um, I probably will also pick up the corresponding uh, volumes. I have four, five, six, and seven, so I might probably pick up four and five just to throw in there. They're nice and quick and easy, which is why I don't know why I didn't finish it, but I just didn't. Um, this is basically following an alien who says that um, he is going to destroy the world within one year unless these students from the specific classroom who is failing can assassinate him. And you're basically just following them, trying to assassinate their teacher. But he's also giving them life, life lessons. I really enjoyed this. Um, it is also a anime, but I want to read before I watch. I've heard really great things about it. So, yeah. All right, the next book that I also was supposed to read in September, but I didn't finish, is The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kwan. 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 Uh, I'm not going to go over what the poppy... This is the second book in the Poppy War trilogy. I believe it's called the Poppy War. Yeah, I'm just going to call it the Poppy War. But this is an epic fantasy, pretty much following a girl named Rin. Anyways, I'm not going to tell you what the Poppy War is about, because if you want to know, just go watch the September video, because I talked about it a lot, actually. But this is an epic fantasy adult. 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 That's all I'm going to say. Um, if you haven't read this already, or like the Poppy War, definitely look up on the story graph for the triggers for this book. This book and that book, not so much this one, mainly the first book. Look up the triggers um, because there are a lot. It is dealing with war, mythology, and gods. Okay, so the next book um, I have here is Ibitsu by Haruto Ryo. Ryo? Um, this is an urban legend has that a girl in Gothic Loletta grab will, grab will sometimes appear at local garbage garbage drops in the middle of the night putting a question to passerbys would you have a little sister to reply to reply is to seal one's fate and meet with the diabolical death at the hands of none other than the twisted sister and tonight another man will fall prey to the horror um if you didn't know wesley already read this i probably you probably don't know i don't know why i said that whatever he read this a while ago he said he really enjoyed it right am i speaking right i don't want to he, let, he enjoyed every bit of it. It is October, so I was trying to get a little bit of spooky going on. Um, one of the twins picked this one. Which one of you guys picked this? You picked this? Celia picked this. Um, so I let them just pick my books because I honestly had no idea what I wanted to read this month. Um, but she picked this because I did tell her that we were looking for something creepy because it is October. So um, it is also a manga, so I should get to it really pretty. I should get through it relatively quickly. Jesus, words are very hard. All right, the next book that Celia picked is, um, <laughs> really? Genius Begins Again by Elise D. Williams. Um, if all I remember correctly about this is, it's, I said genius, Genesis, Jesus Christ. With a name like Genesis, it's hard to be a new girl at school and remain unnoticed in a suburban classroom, especially if you are self-conscious about how you look. Teenage Genesis struggle, struggles to accept both her skin color and her place in her complicated family. Alice D. Williams skillfully develops a character who 
with the help of friends, teachers, and some awesome bluesly music, learns to love herself and, and her family as she realizes that black is indeed beautiful. I really love this debut novel. Um, yeah, it's basically, it's a, this is a middle, middle grade story. <sighs> but yeah, it's, it's a coming of age. Um, it's also dealing with a, obviously, a darker skinned girl trying to come to terms with her skin color. Um, probably because she looks different, different from her other family members. Um, I'm probably going to enjoy this and give it five stars. I normally always give the middle grade that I read five stars because they're such, they're so good. They're simple and they're so good and they just have the perfect message that they're trying to get across is just cut dry and oh, chef's kiss. The next book that Celia picked is All the Things Whenever, oh, We Never Knew. That, it, the, it was really combined here, so it was kind of hard to tell. All the Things We Never Knew by Laura Tamani. Um, I can't remember what this was about, but this was actually sent to me as an arc, and I never got to it. I'm so sorry, Simon and Schuster. So sorry. I should have got to it, but I didn't. But I, I believe it's following two people. It's a, it's a romance book. <laughs> so it's funny that I'm reading romance in October, but it is what it is. Um, a story about first love, deep secrets, and the fate we create. I did have this on my TBR, hence why I requested it. Um, so I should get to it and enjoy it. The next book that I know nobody on BookTube likes, but it is what it is because I love this author. Um, and that is Hide by Kristen White. Uh, Kyrsten? Kristen. Kristen. I don't know. I think her name's Kristen. Um, from what I know, this book is basically following a, a group of, a group that goes to an amusement park and they have to get out of the amusement park. It, it, it's an abandoned amusement park and they have to spend a week there and they all get money. But 14 competitors, 7 days, anywhere to hide but nowhere to run. Basically. So I picked this because I know it's supposed to be like a thriller book, I want to say. Thriller or something. But I have heard that some people did not enjoy it. Mostly everyone that I've seen review this book said they didn't like it. But I really enjoy her. I enjoyed her And I Darken series. It's actually one of my favorite series. So, I mean, if y'all don't like it, it is what it is. I'll probably enjoy it because I'm simple. So, yeah. My dear child, Anaya, she picked The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley po Poston. This is the second book in the Geekerella series that I did actually just finish reading a couple months ago. So, it's interesting that she picked this up. That set that's setting the mood right there. That is definitely setting the mood. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> um Okay, my Okay, well <laughs> um <laughs> I don't I think this is about a two other people from the first book. Um but it's just a continuation into the series. Um, obviously, it's, these are inspired by princess stories. Uh, the princess and the fangirl, I can assume, is obviously the princess and the frog. This was gifted to me by princess, and uh, she never used it. She never, she, I don't think she read it. Bec or maybe she did read it. Don't let me quote you. But also, I have her receipt right here. Literally. Oh, <laughs> perfect. But yeah. All right, my battery camera died. So, here we are again. Uh, Anaya picked Goliath by Tochi Anabuchi. This is, I can't remember what this one's about. Um, in the 2050s, Earth has begun to empty. Those with the means and the privilege have departed the great cities of the United States for more comfortable confines of space colonies. Those left behind salvage what they can from the collapsing infrastructure. As they eke out... Eck out of existence, eek out of existence, their neighborhoods are being cannibalized. Brick by brick, their houses are sent to the colonies. What was once a home, now a quant, quantant, reminder of the quatant, quatant, quantant? Babe, how do you say this word? Q-U-A-I-N-T. Quaint. Wow, that was close. Quantant, quaint, sure, we've got it. That's why we have a dictionary in the room. Um, and by dictionary, I mean Wesley. A quaint reminder for the colonists of the world that they wrecked. 
Oh, okay. A primal biblical epic flung into the future. Goliath weaves together desperate narratives. A space dweller looking for a new haven, Connecticut, as a chance to reconnect with his spiraling lover. A group of laborers attempting to renew the promises of Earth's crumbling cities. A journalist attempting to capture the violence of the streets. And a marshal trying to solve a kidnapping. Into a rich, urgent mosaic about race, class, gentrification, and who is allowed to be the hero of any history. Um, I read Beast of the Night by Tochiana Bochi, and I actually loved it. This sounds amazing, and I feel like what's what better to read in October than, you know, the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to love this. All right, the next book I have is Blood Witch by Susan Denard. Boop. Um, this is the one, two, three, four, fourth. Technically the third, because I think Sight Witch is a novella. <clears throat> I talked about this, because I, I think I was supposed to read this last month. But don't quote me, because I don't remember Anyways, yeah, um, this is basically just following a world where there are different types of witches that have different magics. Blood witch, wind witch, sight witch, thread witch, you name it, there's a witch for it. Water witch, all wind witch, the whole nine. You got it. Um, but yes, it is basically following these two sisters that are bind by thread. They're not actually sisters, but they're bind by faith, essentially. Um, and one of them is a sight, a truth witch, and she's pretty much one of the last of her kinds, so she's very sought after because obviously she can tell when people are telling the truth, and that is a hot commodity, so people are always looking for her, and some stuff goes down, she gets captured, then she goes on a, an adventure with her and the sister, and people are trying to find her and kill her and capture her, and it's just a whole adventure over a span of multiple books all right it would not be a spooky halloween video if i wasn't reading or t I said video i meant to say tbr if i wasn't reading junji ito and i'm going to be reading gayo by junji ito this is just another short story of uh, books of his uh, it says the floating smell of death hangs over the island what is it a strange legged fish appears on the scene so begins Kadashi's and Cairo, Kyrie's, Kyrie's spiral into the horror and scent of the sea. Here is the creepiest masterpiece of horror manga ever from the creator of Uzumaki, Junji Ito. Hold your breath until it all is revealed. All right, and last but certainly not least, a book that I know everybody was all up in arms about on BookTube. Not really. They really weren't. A couple videos that I watched. Um, they talked about this book and they said they didn't enjoy it and they said they did enjoy it. So mixed feelings. I don't care. That's, um, the Hacienda by Isabel Kenneth. Kenyans. I can't roll my R's or, you know, things like that. Even though there's no R in her last name. I don't know why I said that. But this is, it says Mexican Gothic. Me Mexican Gothic meets Rebecca in this debut supernatural suspense novel set in the aftermath of the Mexican War of Independence about a remote house, a sinister haunting, and the woman pulled into their clutches. That's all I'm going to read about it because it is a suspense novel, so I want to be suspensed, you know? Okay. But yes, those are all the books that I'll be reading. I do have a few arcs, I think. I have them set down. There are some arcs that I know I need to get to because I did not read the other two from last from last month, September. So I, I do still need to read How to Succeed in Witchcraft and After Love. Did not read those two. Oh, okay. So don't look back. After a deadly attack in South Sudan, left six-year-old Achu Denj without a family. She lived in refugee camps for 10 years until a refugee relocation career gave her the opportunity to move to the United States. When asked why she should be given a chance to leave the, the camp, after she simply told the interviewer, I want life. This is a memoir, so again, I probably will read it simply because of the backstory. But you know me, I normally don't read memoirs. And then Prince of S Princess of Souls by Alexandra Cristio. This will be my first. No, this is not my first, actually. I think I read her other book. I read something else by her. Either I read it or I own it. I'm not going to look around too much because my camera's about to die. Anyways, um, for 16 years, Celestria 
has been trapped in her tower of the, on the floating mountain, preparing to take her mother's place as a king's witch, who foretells death in the festival of predictions. Outrunning your fate earns a wish and the chance to steal the king's immortality, but die and your soul is forfeit. And though thousands have tried, nobody has ever beaten death. A soldier in the king's army, Knox, is, un is an unlikely candidate for the festival, but driven by revenge, he is determined to steal the king's immortality and kill the entirety of his court, starting with Celestria. Yet, when Celestria touches Knox in her very first prediction, their fates become entwined, and death seeks to take both their souls. Only by working together can they survive long enough to escape the dark fate and the Im immortal king that now hunts them. Ba -ba -ba. This comes out on the 11th, so I need to get a hold on to it quickly. But yes, those are all the books that I'll be reading this month. So if you want a buddy read or something, I don't know, let me know down in the, descri down in the description, down in the comments. And we can buddy read. Um, yeah, I am trying to do better with buddy reads, so reach out if you want to. I'm down for the get down. But yes, again, my camera is about to die. So, that is all that I have for you guys today. Be sure to check out my description where you can find easy ways to contact me, as well as all the books that I talked about. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if not, just imagine I didn't come back again. Until next time, keep imagining. Thank you.